Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, read files using while loop. Now there are several ways of reading files using while loop and we are going to see some of them. The first way of reading files using while loop is by using input redirection. So we use this uh, while loop skeleton and after this keyword while we will use the read command. So just use read and then the variable in which we want to save the content of the file line by line. Okay. And then what we are going to do is we will echo this uh, variable. So just write echo and uh, dollar $p which is this variable itself. And then if you know file redirection, we use uh, a angle bracket here. So we are going to use this angle bracket and the name of the file, whatever file you want to, uh, you know, read. For example, I want to read this file itself, which is my script file, hello.sh, right? So I can just write hello.sh and then this is going to read this file. And then this is going to go here in the parameter P and then using this echo, it's going to read it, right? And what is input redirection? So input redirection is something like this, that what wherever the pointing edge of this angle bracket is, the stream of the red content goes to that direction. So the file content inside this hello.sh is redirected to this while loop, right? And then it is read using the read command and then it's printed using the echo command, right? So let's run the script and let's see what happens. And you can see it prints the content of the file, which is our script itself. Now the second way of reading the file is to read the file in a single variable and then print it. Now, if you know pipes, then it's easier for you. So I'm going to just remove this thing from here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first of all use a cat command. So before this while keyword, I'm going to use cat and then whatever file uh, you want to read once again, hello.sh and then I will use this pipe symbol and that's it. So what's happening here is whatever is the content which is read using this cat command is like an input for this while command, right? So the content of uh, this cat output is like an input to this while loop and then it's going to read it using this read command and then it's going to print the content of the file. So once again, let's run the script. And once again, you can see the same content is printed. So the first way is by using the input redirection and second way is to, uh, you know, read the file content into one variable and then print it. Now, sometimes uh, it's hard to read the files using these two methods. And uh, the problem is some special characters in the file, for example, a line indentation and other things. So what we can do is in the last method is we will use this read commands once again, but we will use the IFS. Now IFS stands for internal field separator and it is used by the shell to determine how to do word splitting. And that is how to recognize word boundaries, right? So let's see how we can do this using IFS. So we will use the while uh, keyword here and then in capital use IFS and then is equal to and then give a space here. So it's important to note here is that we are not assigning read to IFS. We are assigning a space to an IFS, right? So just give the space between this equal to sign and the read command. And with this read command, we have to use minus R flag here and minus R prevents the backslash escape from being interpreted, right? So this flag is going to prevent backslashes escapes from being interpreted, right? And instead of P, you can also use line because it's more uh, descriptive of this method. 
and just use the line here okay now we are going to use once again input redirection here so use this angle bracket and then use the file name for example hello dot sh okay and uh, let's run the script once again and let's see what happens and you can see it's uh, printing the content of the file once again now if you are confused here instead of using space here you can just use in single quotes and a space here like this also and once again once again you can run the script and the you know output will be the same you can see here right so you can do this also right and uh, for example we want to read the file which is uh, there in my etc folder for example so let's say what are the content in my etc folder so i'm going to just uh, ls for example etc and you can see there are several files here and let's see what we want to read from here so for example i want to read uh, the host conf which is here this is the host conf so let me just cat the content of this and then we will uh, read this file using our while loop so cat and then etc and then the file name host.conf and this is the content of this file right so we will just copy the path of this file and then paste it here okay and then once again we will run the script and then press it and you can see the same content is printed whatever is printed using the cat command right so you can use these three methods to read the file using while loop now there are some other methods of reading files for example using file descriptors and that we will see uh, in the later videos uh, when we will learn what are file descriptors and other things right but these are the basic ways of reading the file using while loop so i hope you've enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now